Welcome everyone to the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County YouTube channel. We're a nonprofit United Way agency. We like to provide these videos for your entertainment, but not only that, but education. Today we have a second video on um, English um, from my sister, Miss Wendy, and she's a teacher at East Fairmont High School in Marion County. And today um, she's going to present a lesson on verbs. Hello everyone. Uh, as she said, my name is Wendy DeVault. I did my first lesson on nouns. We were talking about the eight different parts of speech. I did my first lesson on nouns because that's the majority of the English language, but today's lesson will be on verbs. And if you may be wondering why I chose verb instead of a pronoun or an adverb, because if you have a noun and you have a verb, guess what? You have a sentence, okay? And we need to speak and write in complete sentences so that our meaning is clear. So that's why I chose to do verbs today. Again, English can be a complicated language. Um, there are actually you know, like 12 different verb tenses and many different kinds of verbs, but I'm focusing just on the basics. If you have this basic understanding, it'll go a long way. So a verb, okay, is something that either shows action or link. So let's talk about types of verbs, and then we'll talk about a few tenses. Okay, so notice, there are types, and then there are tenses. So types of verbs are action, linking, and helping. So I want to run through what those are. Let's start with action. Okay, so an action verb shows either a physical or a mental action, okay? Physical or mental. So I did two categories. Physical action is something you do with your body. So I have these verbs, jump, sneeze, cry, swing, like you swing a bat. Those are all things you do with your body. But there are also lots of things you do with your mind. You just can't see them usually. Think, dream, imagine, wonder, you know, investigate. All these verbs, so many things go on in your mind. Those are mental actions, so don't forget about those. Just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it can't be an action verb. The next kind, major category of verb, there are two major kinds, action and linking. So linking is our next kind. So linking, just what the word link means. If you link something together, you connect it. Okay, so a linking verb's all about connecting. It's not about an action. So I have three sentences for you to show you what I mean. Anna is kind, okay? Is is one of the most popular linking verbs, okay? When I teach school, I always underline my verbs twice. So let's see what it's linking. It's linking the word Anna, and it's connecting her with being kind, okay? It's a linking verb, okay? Usually over here, we call this the predicate. You're going to get an adjective or a noun, okay? But we can get into that later. Anna and kind. Look at this sentence. They are my neighbors. So think to yourself, what two things are being linked? Well, we have they and we have neighbors. What's linking them? Is it the word are or is it the word my? It's the word are. That's your linking verb, okay? They and neighbors. Neighbors would be a noun, okay? So there's your noun. Video games are exciting. Okay, so two things are being linked. Video games and exciting, and what's linking them up? The verb are. Okay, so is and are are probably the most common linking verbs. Uh, your teachers at school may have you memorize a little list. Uh, is and are and was, those types of words. Okay, now helping is another category, but it's unique. The thing about helping is, look here, they never appear by themselves. You can't just have a helping verb all alone. It has to help an action verb or a linking verb, okay? So first you find the action verb or linking, and then you see which verbs are helping it out, okay? The puppy is chewing on the bone. Now chewing is an action. The puppy has a mouth, it has teeth. That is the main verb, okay? Then you look at this sentence, you think, hmm, is there something that kind of looks like a verb that's maybe helping out chewing? 
we got the word is. Okay, so I'm going to circle the helping verbs. Okay. Okay, so is is helping the action verb chewing. So we have helping verb, action verb. And this whole thing is called a verb phrase because you have more than one verb. You may not, you may be too tired. Okay, you may be too tired. Okay, so if you look, this is, if you think back, we're linking two things. We have the word you and we have tired. And you think, which of those words is really linking it up? It's an be, okay? Be is the main verb, okay? It's a linking verb. It's linking those two. Then you scan the sentence and you say, hmm, is there maybe another word that looks like a verb that's helping out be? It is may. May is your linking or helping verb. Okay, it's helping out the main verb be. Okay, Alex has been awake all night. Okay, so look at the sentence and you look for an action or a linking verb before you can look for a helping verb. Okay, and if you look, you can see the verb awake. Okay, awake. But then you think, hmm, let's look at the rest of the sentence. That's our action verb. Is anything helping it out that looks like a verb, not like a noun? We have two this time. We have has and we have been. So you can have more than one helping verb. I wanted to show you that, okay? So those are two helping verbs that are helping out the action verb awake, okay? So those are the three types of verbs, okay? Action, linking, and helping. But then with verbs, we also have tenses. And that's kind of like when something took place, when it happened. So if you look over here, I'm just going to do three tenses. Now English has 12 tenses. <laughs> These are the most basic, the ones you really need to know. We have present tense, and that means it's happening right now, okay? Use the verb's base form or add an S for third person singular. And I know that sounds a little tricky, uh, but the basic verbs like I showed you before, like sneeze, okay, and walk, things like that. We walk to the park. Okay, this is happening right now. So the present tense is happening right now. We are walking. If it happened previously, it's past tense. Okay, so it happened in the past, it's past tense. Normally in English, we add ed to the end. Sometimes we don't. Okay, this is the normal pattern is to add an ed. So I have my base form walk. All I'm going to do, as you can see here, is add an ED to make it past. So this could have been an hour ago. It could have been yesterday. We walked to the park. That's in the past. Okay, what if you haven't done it yet? Okay, but it will happen in the future. Of course, that's called the future. In English, all we really need to do is add the word will in front of the base form. Okay, and again, we said the base form is walk. So we will walk to the park, okay? You got will and then you have your main verb. And if you remember from a few minutes ago, will would be helping that out, okay? That would be a helping verb. So will is the word you need if you're talking about the future. Again, these are for regular verbs. So of course we need to practice this now. So I have five sentences over here and we're gonna look for verbs today. Okay, so remember, right off the bat, we're gonna look for either action, linking, and if we have one of those, which we will, because all sentences need a verb, then we'll look for a helping. Dad flipped the pancakes onto our plates. Okay, so first thing I want you to think, is there an action in this sentence? Is there an action? I, I see one. Dad's flipping. So he has a spatula and he's taking his hand, his body, and he's flipping the pancake. So I always underline my verbs twice. Okay, and then you say to yourself, you know, is that a physical or mental action? That would be a physical action. Is there any other verbs or words that look like verbs helping this out? No. We just have one nouns here. We have dad and we have pancakes and we have plates. So that is our verb. It is flipped. Both movies are very funny. Okay. So again, let's start at the top. Is there an action taking place in this sentence? No. I don't see an action. So if there's not an action, it has to be a linking verb. So let's look at for a linking verb. And if you remember, I told you probably the most popular one is R. Okay? There's our linking verb. A linking verb has to connect two things. So let's think, what is this connecting? 
as movies and what about the movies they're funny so there we go okay that's our linking verb okay i'll put a little a here for action i'll put an l here for linking is there a helping verb no there's nothing in front of this that's helping it out all i have is movies and that's a noun third sentence logan is bringing his new skateboard to my house okay let's look for an action hmm is logan doing anything i think so he's bringing okay that's an action okay. then you look to see if there's anything helping it out anything that looks like a verb that's right in front of it helping it out i see the word is and again is an r the major one so that is going to be i'll circle it that's going to be your helping verb. So you have another action verb, and is is helping it out, is bringing. For the fourth sentence, I will remember your name. Okay, so let's look for an action. Hmm, did I see someone doing something? This can be a little tricky, because <laughs> remember is going on in your brain, okay? You just can't see it happening. So if you remember, it's a little pun, that is an action verb, okay, but it's happening inside of your head. So this is the only one we have that's a mental action. And then you look for a helping verb, okay, and right in front of it, there it is, is the word will. If you remember, this makes it future, okay? When you put will in front of the base form, it's the future. And our last sentence, my grandma was a nurse. Okay, so look, start off, is there an action? No, I don't see an action then there has to be linking. Which of these words is a verb? It is was, okay? Linking, what two things is it linking? Grandma and nurse, okay? So again, I just want to really stress to you, you have verbs, they're gonna be action or linking, sometimes helping. Hope that was helpful. Have a good afternoon.